Second down, let's go. Get that bucket, Ron. You all right? Here we go, round seven, scheduled for 10 in a slugfest. Adam Richards from Houston, Texas, 21 and 1 with 14 knockouts, came to play tonight. And he has put the pressure on Witherspoon, the prospect, all night long so far. Now for Witherspoon standing up, not taking the, the rest on a stool between rounds. Going to steal a lot of valuable seconds from him of recovery over the course of a of an attrition-laden fight. Well, one thing Witherspoon is finding out is that Richards can take a punch. He is whacked him a couple of times, and when he does, Richards just pours it on. Now, if you're with a spoon, if you can move on angles, you can make Richards lunge at you, perhaps, and then you can take a shot back at him. But when with a spoon lands a shot, Richards walks through it and lands a couple of his own. And the, the problem for with a spoon when the round begins is that Richards charges across the stool, uh, across the ring, and immediately puts him on the defensive. Richards with a 64 percentage knockout rate. Witherspoon with a 63 percent knockout rate. Seventh round action. They continue. There's been no break here. A lot of in close fighting, body work, head work, short, choppy uppercuts, and hooks inside. It has been a pleasing fight and a good pace for. Guys in this division. Well, it depends on the judging here. Uh, you mentioned earlier that Richards has put the pressure on. All fight long. Some judges like that. Well, especially if it's used in a tie-breaking contest. They land about the same amount of punches. It looks like Richards is controlling the action and getting Witherspoon to do what he wants in this fight. And that will bode kindly for him on the scorecards. Witherspoon's mouth is open now as if he's breathing harder. He's been taking pressure. While Richards seems unperturbed. Ten seconds left. Stop at the bell. With seconds left in round seven. Stop at the bell. said this is an exciting enjoyable entertaining fight I think you said all that it did indeed overhand right from Witherspoon and back comes the swamp donkey well no matter what happens to the swamp donkey here tonight I think he's going to get work in some of the bigger venues of boxing and he may be able to get out of the Mississippi, Texas venues and show up in Las Vegas, perhaps. Well, especially, it's a nice performance 
But, but uh, this is one where you've got to get that W to, to, to get the mileage out. And, and Richards should be on his way. Yeah, he really would deserve it based on what's gone on here. And that's a good left took by Witherspoon. Moments ago, Witherspoon landed a, a powerful left to the body. There's an overhand right, right uppercut. Witherspoon now with a left, and he left. He left Richards. And Richards is in deep trouble. He's also about to go out, and his stamina has betrayed him here suddenly. This is all a turnaround. Bill Clancy stops it here in the eighth round. Witherspoon came on originally with body shots, then went upstairs. I think that Chaz Witherspoon stole one from the jaws of defeat. This was going the wrong way for him, and Richards ran out of gas. Witherspoon caught up with him, and he made no mistake once he saw the opportunity. It seemed, Dave, like he set it all up with a body shot. Remember, Richards has been charging at him like a train the whole fight, dominating, getting off first, setting the pace, winning the exchanges. Now, Richards, to this point, has not been hurt, but that left hook is a huge shot. Then the right hand behind it. Now he's standing straight up. A target for Witherspoon. Tremendous uppercut, and now Richards is out on his feet. Had he been able to go down and take a knee and recoup, it would have been smart, but since he couldn't, referee comes in. The judgment call. Remember, no standing eight. So the referee has to decide. Can the guy continue or not? And he has to make the decision right here. No standing eight count to evaluate it. And I think Bill Clancy makes the right call. Huge right hand there. No, no, everything was fine. was no problem. Everybody was sitting down, man. Beautiful fight. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being here. Great breath. Thank you very much. Great job. So, for Chaz Witherspoon, a terrific victory as he does it in round eight. So, Chaz terrific performance. And that man put on a big fight here tonight. Tough, adorable, but he got caught in the eighth round with some body shots originally. And then Witherspoon went upstairs and rocked him with some lefts and some rights. But he was no pushover. Yeah! Yeah! So Witherspoon will go to 24 and 1. Referee Bill Nancy calls a halt to the action. Your winner by a TKO, Taz, the gentleman. As Witherspoon needed that one. He was struggling early on. He was in a slugfest, but he came back. And he's back on track, perhaps. Now at 24 and 1 with 16 knockouts. And we are here inside Memorial Gymnasium on the campus of Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. The first time ever boxing has been held in this venue. Memorial Hall renovated in 2000 and it seats about 14,000. And we have a good crowd on hand tonight.
and it's Music City, Nashville, the home of country music, bluegrass music, and the Ryman Auditorium, the famous auditorium, the Grand Old Opry. It is a big music city.